Hello everyone at System, and this is Glacial Awakening. Hope everyone is well, having an amazing day. I myself, I'm having a good one. So let's get back to this pack here. Just kind of push forward. Uh, in between episodes, I didn't do much stuff. I really just uh, read the books a little bit, kind of figured some stuff out here. I was kind of looking at this uh, combustion chamber yesterday. I wasn't sure what it's for. It's actually used for a setup with a small steam engine, which we may try at some point. Just for fun, mostly. <laughs> it is another power source. And that uh, might be neat to try. Don't know if we're going to really do it or not. I guess we'll figure that out as we go. Uh, really depends on our power needs and uh, if I feel like just doing something different that day, to be honest. Uh, the other thing I was doing was I went ahead and made this book here. This is the Tome of Arcana from Arcane Archives. Pretty cool little mod here. I was kind of reading through this. Uh, there's actually quite a lot to it. It has this fancy book. All kinds of different blocks here. This thing's actually an inventory system. So we're going to be making this today because it is in the quest line. Although it doesn't really tell you that it was an inventory or, some, or a system or anything, right? So I think it's right up here. It says, used to generate radiant quartz. So we are going to get into that today. We're going to go um, through that. We probably won't get into Ashville today at all. But uh, I think we're going to also, at the same time, go through some magnetic craft. Because uh, we have to wait for stuff to happen with this one here. So let's go ahead and uh, get right into it. We're going to go ahead and uh, start making these here. Radiant resonators. And uh, we also need to make this uh, gem cutters table. So... Let's kind of check that out here. I have a whole bunch of stuff kind of pinned up here. This also, too, is the first crafting station in the pack that has a memory. So, really going to want this either way. But the first thing we need to make is uh, this jazz here. We need some bucks of water and uh, all that jazz. It wants us to make three of them. So, maybe I'll do that. Uh, did I put my buckets in here? I did, too. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and uh, get us some buckets of water. So, uh, that is good. Then maybe see if we can actually go ahead and just straight up make these because uh, we might be able to. Yeah, right there. And right there, we got two of them. And I guess we'll need one more bucket of water and then we'll have these things. Now, the whole purpose of these things is they kind of grow crystals over time. And you need the crystals to get into the mod. And uh, we're going to have to probably wait a little bit to, uh, you know, actually progress into it. So while we're waiting for that, we're going to probably go ahead and uh, why didn't it actually click that in? It only counted two or three. That was weird. <laughs> I'll go throw them on the ground and pick them back up. It's like it thinks one's different. There we go. But anyway, we have to wait for the crystals to grow. And uh, as they're doing their thing, we'll kind of go ahead and work on it. Again. Magnetic craft is what I was thinking. So yeah, just put down these little uh, tables here. They have this little weird sound to them, which is a little strange. But you can see there, the progress is going up. Once it hits 100%, We'll be able to farm the crystals from them and then kind of progress through the mod. So that's kind of how that works. So what we're going to do, I think, is go ahead and probably finish up our... What was it? What we were working on yesterday? Was it the grinder? Where did I put that uh, recipe? Right here. The grinder. We'll go ahead and set this one up first. It's going to take a little while for those crystals to grow. Might as well get this going here. And uh, just uh, progress it, man. Get into our first machines. I think it's going to be like our first real ore doubling, which is uh, pretty fantastic. I will have to move that too, but I'll figure that out in a second. Wait, wait, let's go into the actual book. Check out the magnetic craft book, uh, blocks. Magnetic, check that out. And I think I know pretty much all the blocks for the early machines. And I just need to find the start of them. <laughs> there you go. There's one there. Let's go ahead and pin that one. Want to pin the striped ones as well. Want to pin the coil, uh, copper coil machine blocks and the corrugated, and that should be good. I think that's pretty much all the machine blocks. No, machine blocks as well. Uh, we're gonna need all these blocks here. If we actually open up the book here, we can actually look at exactly what we need for this multi-block. Uh, go to the multi-block, check that out. Should be in here somewhere. Not there, steam turbine. Where is it, man? Grinder, that's the one we want. So we need 10 machine blocks, copper coil machine block, seven grates, stripe machine block, and corrugated. Uh, that's eight. That's one, that's eight, and that's eight. So we should only need one recipe of each because I think we have some of those base machine blocks, right? So that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, see what we need here. Let's see. If we wanted to go ahead, not there. Let's go ahead into here. See if we can actually straight up make an engine. We can. See if we can go ahead and straight up make a machine block. That is good as well. We might be able to straight up make most of these, actually, because uh, we have a lot of these resources on hand, actually, because uh, we had to make the... Uh, one set of machine blocks yesterday, so that is cool. There we go, got our striped, and there we go. Oh, we'll need two recipes of this one, the actual uh, iron grate machine blocks, so that is something. But anyway, let's go ahead and make you. Awesome, and then finally, awesome. There we go, that's all it took. Super simple. <laughs> but anyway, 
Let's go ahead and uh, get this thing built here. So you can see here, it's really easy to kind of build uh, with this uh, uh, preview of the multi-block. You just kind of put the blocks where they belong and uh, it'll just kind of get done in time, which is uh, pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, throw everything on our bar here. Do that and that. Have to say, it is nice to finally get into some machines. I have enjoyed the magic mods, but at the same time, I always want those machines because it makes automating those magic mods usually way easier. And uh, it is just good all around. But anyway, we will be doing more magic. I want to go and explore more of, say, like Hearthwell and stuff like that because I really don't know that mod. But uh, that'll be in a in-time thing. Let's go ahead and do that. That looks like the rest is all those stripe blocks. So let's go ahead and grab them. And then we'll finish up our first multi-block, which is uh, pretty fantastic. Probably pop down here, do that. And I think all we have to do is right-click on this, and there we go. It forms into multi-block, and now uh, this is our machine. Uh, that side's going to be... That's power there. Is there anything on the back of these? That might be an output. These machines, I, I'm not used to them fully. <laughs> I think that one might be an input, but I think there's an input on the top as well. Uh, let's get it powered up, I guess, first, so... Let's go ahead and grab you and you. Let's go ahead and grab you as well. That looks good. Probably put the power like right under it. Probably like right here, right? So we go something like that. That looks good. And then I put the lava on these sides so I'm not stepping in it constantly. Something like that. Throw down our thermal pile. Then maybe oh, grab that because I'd rather not. Oh yeah, it's not going to come over there with lava anyway because I already put down the thermal pile, right? But anyway, let's do you and grab you. We don't have any crystals grown yet. They're almost done. We'll be able to grab some of them soon, which is uh, pretty neat. We should have some power in here. That's good. And uh, we should have some of those wires in here too, right? We got uh, 18 of them that we made yesterday. Then I should be able to just wire this up. Now this thing should start getting power. That is cool. And uh, I think all we have to do is throw like an ore in here, right? So let's go ahead and try that. Can't remember the top of this is like a uh, hopper or not. Do I have anything I even want to process right now? Maybe Galena. <laughs> Let's try that. I need to do another batch of iron soon too, so that's something. But anyway, I want to try that out. Do I have any hoppers? I can't remember. No, we could just probably just make one though. We have technology, right? Let's go hopper. Let's do that. And uh, we'll just use this one down here. Wait a sec. Why well, didn't I like that recipe? It's like in this one. We'll use this one. That's good. Okay, let's try this out. Let's go up this way. I'm not sure where the output of this is. That's my only problem. Yeah, I knew there was an input up here. So can we do this? Can I go here? Maybe pop you right there. Then pop this in here. I can do a little hopper chain from now. That should start grinding that down. And we should get a double, right? Oh, we get lead chunkies. So they're going to make us process it more. So... I think that was an option there for actually a quest line too, right? So if we go into the book here, go down here. That is the ore washer or the, uh, the sieve. So we might do the, the sieve instead. So maybe do that, do another multi-block and get that done. Also, we got some crystals. So these are the crystals here. You can kind of just right click on them. Just bam, bam, and bam. There we go. And uh, we've got this uh, crystal feeling, <laughs> no idea. Uh, crafting ingredient can also be used to upgrade chest, crafting tables into the radiant versions. So we're going to go ahead and do the one needed for the quest here. I think it's the gem cutting table. Let's actually go into this. Uh, yeah, the, what is it called there? Gem cutters table. Go ahead and make one of them. Uh, probably need a crafting table because uh, we don't have one. That looks good. Make this puppy. Uh, what's in the top? A piece of glass. Let's see if we can actually, do I have no glass? I thought I did. Yeah, we got tons of glass, man. Let's do you. Unless it has to be white glass, that'd be strange. Any pain glass. Okay, let's just make some pains then. Because uh, they are a pain. Yeah, right there. There's 16. Clear them out. Then we should be able to actually make this uh, table now. So this is kind of the main crafting table for this mod. Going to pop that down. Oh, it needs to have a little more space apparently. Oh, that is actually pretty cool looking. That actually looks really nifty. That's really neat actually. Little tools there. Little parchment thingy. We got this, uh, whatever the heck this thing is, the little roller thing. <laughs> but you go in here and you can pop in, I believe, like these crystals, right? So it has an inventory. And you can make all these different components. So there's like all different components you can make here, depending on what you have in your inventory, what you have in here. And uh, these are all used for different things. So it has all these like weird little crystals with different abilities on them too. But uh, we'll look at those later on. 
I forget what was the next thing we need to do. I think it's actually a chest. Let's go grab a chest real quick. Do that. Grab you. And then pop you maybe here. There we go. And I need to look for this. Let's see here. How do you get the better crystals? I thought it was done in here. Yeah, these ones. Oh, you need two of these to be able to do this. I think there's something else you could do with these too, right? Can you just... Yeah, you can just left-click them on the ground. And then you get these little... Um, slivers of light and I believe these things can actually replace torches and they look better so I may actually use those uh, in place of torches because I'm not a big fan of torch graveyards so probably something like that probably keep some of these puppies around probably end up uh, replacing all of our torches with these to be honest but uh, we'll wait for the next batch of crystals before we get the rest of that going I think although I think we do have the quest done so let's do that and that oh I thought I had to craft that that's actually awesome I can show this right now then Let's get this chest out over here. Let's do that. Let's do this. Go down and throw one of these radiant chests. Now this is a double chest by default. It's actually pretty cool. They're not that hard to make. They just need one of those raw radiant crystals. Then you're good to go. But uh, they're pretty neat how they work. They're kind of like a network. So if I grab this brazier now, pop it right here, um, and then pop this thing in here. No, it doesn't matter, I guess. I'm not gonna pop that in there. Let's pull that out. Can't do that part until we get some more crystals. But I go ahead and throw these torches in here. I believe they end up in the chest. So you can set up like a little network of this. And we're going to make one more item here. That's going to make it so we can see all the things in the network as well. All this manifest. We just need some of this radiant dust. So we'll just wait a couple minutes. Um, so this is good here. That's good. We've got this uh, lead rocky chunk. We're going to want to go ahead and make the actual. What's the sieve, right? So let's go ahead and check this out. Looks like we need a snowball. We may have a snowball. So let's go ahead and see if we found one. There we go. We found a snowball. <laughs> anyway, let's do that. The one pack where you don't have to worry about snow at all whatsoever. But anyway, let's go grab you. See what we need for this puppy. So this one's going to be... Uh, maybe there? Well, definitely not there. That's not going to work. Hopefully the power isn't on the far side. Oh, this thing's long. Okay. We're going to have to change how this goes. Maybe something like this over here? Yeah, maybe I'll push that back one more. Also, I need to check this too. I never did too. I need to see if we can output out the back of this. Maybe it goes directly into a chest. We can check that real quick. Yes, it does auto output. So that works. So I need to leave a space here no matter what. So that works. I can cover this up with some kind of covering or something. Um, but that's good. And then we're going to build this thing here. It's going to take a whole lot of these strength blocks. I need to look in the book actually what it's going to take here. Come back here. Uh, multi-blocks and there it is there so this one needs eight strength column support i don't know what those are those are let's go to support columns here go to add we'll get that one up there cool so i just grabbed another batch of crystals there i'm just gonna let them keep growing but i did go ahead and make all the blocks here and uh, it looks pretty easy to make so we're gonna go get it done so anyway we're going ahead and making this one which is the fancy sieve let's get that done uh, we just need to get all the blocks in place. I am definitely going to have to do a batch of gold and iron really soon because uh, we're getting pretty low here. Let's do that. Oh, these ones are wrong. Oh, I like that feature. This is an awesome feature. A lot of times when you have uh, mods that like you make you build multi-blocks, when you put the block down, it doesn't show the block. Like It's showing me that this one's wrong because I can still see the block that it needs. I really like that feature. I think more multi-block mods uh, should have that. That is actually really good. Because you can immediately look at it and go, hey, I derped. Anyway, that is actually pretty cool. Anyway, so yeah, these things are pretty easy to build. They do take a fair amount of uh, iron and copper and lead. The only one I really care about, I guess, is the iron. Because uh, that one takes a bit of work to get. But the other one's not too, not too big a deal. Uh, this mod over here takes a bit of gold. Which is another one I don't have a ton of. But anyway, so how's this one work? Let's see here. I don't know if this one's going to take water is my only thing. So power... Goes in two points on this one. This one's a little weird. So the power goes here and here. Is that is that what I'm seeing here? Let's let's try this out. So I should be able to kind of just jank this up. So let's do that right there. there we go. I may need more power here, based on what I'm seeing. I can't jump over that too. Even oh you can. You just gotta go from the front. But anyway, just try to figure everything out here. Go that and that and maybe you. And uh, do you have enough power? Don't know if we're going to be able to run both of these machines off one thermal pile, but uh, definitely worth trying. So the input is right there. Let's go ahead and grab a hopper. I think I do actually have one here somewhere. Yeah, I have one right here. Let's go ahead and grab you. Go ahead and pop you right here. 
then we should be able to go ahead and grab that chunky unless I have it on me didn't I have one chunky chunky or thingy I must have dropped it off here here's what we'll do let's go ahead and make a, another hopper probably let's do hopper probably wouldn't hurt to have a couple so let's just get a couple done actually hopper hopper and hopper that works Awesome, and then I guess we could take these machine blocks that I kind of forgot about <laughs> and uh, grab those as well. Let's do you. Ah, there we go. Then I should be able to reach that from down here. That works. Throw in that. Oh, it actually moves. I don't remember that moving. Oh, wow. I've only used this machine once before, though, but uh, it definitely moves, and that is pretty neat. It's actually, uh, you know, animated. And uh, Oh, yeah, it's going. That's where my chunkies are going. <laughs> the back. Totally forgot. But anyway, let's grab them. There you go. Got our lead chunky. Then can I pop this through here? Will this like immediately start working? Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. And where's the item going to come out though? So it does have an internal buffer. Okay. So we probably use a chest here on the front of it. I'm hoping is this way it works because uh, that would be a nice little way. Let's do here. Are you going to? No. There's got to be a way to get the stuff automatically out of this thing. There's no way they designed this thing not to just let you get it out. Hmm. What's underneath this thing? <laughs> Let's take a look-see. Let's see here. Ah, there we go. We found it. We found it. Okay. We can do this really easy. Let's go around the other side. Let's go ahead and break you. Go ahead and uh, find that down here somewhere. Awesome. So we'll need a... We'll need a, a hopper chain here, right? So how would I do this? It'd be probably chest out here awesome then we just need two hoppers so we just do that and that and that's probably gonna take it out no what is that the output of then does this thing have numerous outputs is that what's going on here yeah there's another one here so one's gonna be a byproduct then probably let's try this one see how we're see what we're doing <laughs> nothing's coming out of it see it looks like something's gonna come out of the bottom Oh, there's one for each. Well, you're gonna need a bunch of hoppers for this. Um, let's, let's try this one. So this one is for the first slot. That'll be second slot. That'll be third slot. So let's go grab a couple more hoppers here. At least get this wired up. And then, yeah, I could probably send it all into a singular chest is the way I could do it. So it'd be something like that. And I'd have to do this slightly different, actually. Let's do you. Let's actually get the um, two more hoppers we need first before we do anything. Actually, can I craft it from right here? Because that'd be great. I hit it up there too. Hopper, grab you. Awesome and awesome. Now this, this this vice has been really good for early game. Like it's not good. I mean, it's not a great inventory system, right? But it's better than nothing, right? You know what I mean? So it grab from our inventories without having to be around them, which is awesome. It's downfalls only being able to grab one item. So I mean, it's really only meant as an early game one, which is uh, I have no problem with at all. I have to say it is uh, pretty fantastic. And uh, really useful, I find. But anyway, let's do that. Let's uh, put you here. I don't want to be able to see. Will I be able to see those? Maybe. Let's go ahead and do that. Do that. There's a good chance this thing's going to get moved anyway. But at the same time, I like things not showing <laughs> at all whatsoever. Let's close that up for now. There we go. Go ahead and see if we can grab a bunch. And see if we actually get any byproducts out of this too. Let's go ahead and uh, just toss that in there. Awesome. And this is actually pretty cool. This is actually pretty cool. We'll be able to set up a nice little system with this. Yeah. And then we get these lead chunks, which then we could smelt down for double it. So that is basically our ore doubling right there. Uh, that chest going to bother me being that way. But anyway, let's fix that. Do you. Uh, we'll need a block right here. Actually, for aesthetics, we'll need a block here and here. And then a chest, right? So that would be the proper way to do it that and that there we go which reminds me we got a hole over here i need to get rid of so let's go ahead and grab these buckets of water there we go and go ahead and fix this little mess here because that'll be another thing that drives me insane at some point <laughs> not too long for now i have some more of those floors don't i yeah that's the one right there go ahead and drop you off anyway let's go ahead and grab these crystals now so let's do that I wonder if it actually needs this on both to be able to maintain the power. I didn't check that either, did I? I need some kind of other ore here. Uh, no, I need these uh, rocky chunks, right? That's what we need. I wonder if it goes slower. So it's not going too fast right now, but if I connect a second line, does it actually go faster? 
get you out of here. I can't tell if that's faster. So I don't know if we actually need both of these power lines or not. I'm just kind of curious about that. So I'm seeing something at the top now. Can we just hopper that in from the top? Because that would be cleaner. Because it kind of looks like that's um, an input on the top as well. Do you? Come around here. Maybe up. Ugh. The way the, the, the hitbox works on this thing is a little weird, I have to say. Okay, let's do you for a second. Go. Can I get items in through here? Yes, I can. Okay, that's easier to access. I'll probably leave it like that. This one's a little bit of uh, out of the way to access, but I mean, it works for now. When I move my machines around, probably do it a little different. Um, the output, where would the output on this one be? Oh, it's on the back, right? I could actually set up so the back of this one is feeding directly into this one really easy. I just need a much taller area and that would be much cleaner all around, I think. So that is cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at this mod for a second. Uh, we're going to go ahead and probably make that one more item I was talking about there, which was the, what was that thing called? The manifest, right? So we need some black dye, a piece of paper. Let's go ahead and grab some paper here. I have a bunch of that. And some black dye grab from the actual sprouts. So let's do you. Go ahead and grab. Uh, where is that thing at there? Actual sprout. There we go. Cool. Also, I think we can take one of these crystals here and right click it on here. Maybe is it shift right click? Yeah, there we go. This will upgrade our crafting table. And this one's actually really cool. So if I want to say, what could I make right now to kind of show you here? Let's make a chest. Let's do that. Let's actually grab a little bit of wood here. Maybe like eight. Ooh, I'm wasting my crystals, but that's fine. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, and two of them. There we go. And I made a recipe in here. So if I do something like that, do this. Isn't there a way? No, there's a way of making it remember recipes. And I can't remember how. Maybe here. Let's go into this one again. Try that again. This time, don't touch it. Yeah, you can left click. And you can have it save up to three recipes in these slots here. And you can kind of get rid of them, I think, somehow. Is it shift? Yeah, it was shift. Left click to put the recipe there. Shift to take it out. Then if I want to craft more of them, and I had the items in my inventory, I could just click on them. It would pull up the items, so you can just keep crafting them. So pretty neat little option there, which I thought was pretty cool. The only problem with this uh, mod is it's not connected to the inventory like everything else. It's not like a link to the uh, inventory chest, right? So that's the thing. Let's do you. Let's go ahead and pop another one of these down. And I believe we can upgrade these chests as well just by doing that, which is awesome. And then we're going to go ahead and pop those in there. And I'm probably going to switch over completely to these chests. So that's going to be a thing. Uh, we need you in there and some of you paper. And we should be able to find that manifest in here somewhere. Manifest. Radiant. Oh, radiant dust. I need to make that. How do you actually pull it out? Oh, right there. There we go. Grab the manifest finally. Let's uh, pull that out. Now this site is pretty cool because it sees everything that's in our network. And you can kind of just go offhand, go, hey, where's my stuff? And you can kind of track stuff too, I think. Click to draw a line to the chest. So if I want to find my paper now, it tells me that the paper is actually in this table just by following that line. So really good for hunting things down. Like really awesome, actually. And when you open up, make it go away. Kind of does that. And I just thought that was awesome. Like it's a really cool little inventory system. It's totally different, right? So if I did say, let's do some random stuff here. There we go. Put some stuff. Let's put like two of them in here. Put like a uh, supple stuff in here. Let's put, uh, we already got stuff in here. Let's put crystals in this one. This is gonna give you an idea if you're trying to hunt down a bunch of stuff, right? So if I have all that stuff in there, I have the manifest. I wanna find, uh, I think you do several at a time. Yeah, that, that. I wanna find paper. I need gold nuggets and I need torches. It'll just show you lines to all those inventories. So you can hunt down those different things and when then you open them up. It's actually highlighted, so you can just find them right away. So I go, boom, I found those. That's great. Uh, I did that. I have that now. Then I go ahead. I found my paper. And it's just a cool little system. You can even search for things. It's it's just really neat. And I uh, will be using this moving forward, at least until we get into a real inventory system. And okay, I've been running around just kind of fooling around with this um, Arcane Archives mod, just trying to figure things out. And it's actually really neat. One thing I noticed, do I have anything on me? Yeah, I do. Let's go ahead and just show you this. I made these here. These are the monitoring crystals. They basically make it so the manifest, so this, so the Arcane Archive system can see anything that's inside the crate. So I went ahead and made some of those. They aren't too big a deal. 
It's really just waiting for the crystals to grow. But uh, where's the recipe for them? Uh, not there. It's right here. Just uh, one crystal, a couple sticks, and a couple gold nuggets. So it can see now everything that's inside those crates. So I thought that was pretty cool. That is pretty awesome. So it can see all that stuff. I don't have to use just these radiant crates kind of exclusively. And uh, that's pretty neat. Um, another thing I kind of realized with this thing is, I'm going to grab these crystals first because I always need more, is that you can output from an inventory. So I'm using a hopper to pump it into here and it'll end up in the crate. So you can use these for automation as well. So I thought that was really, really cool. And the way I'm thinking I'm almost using the system at this point in the game is any of our automations, if I pump an item into one of these braziers, right? So I guess I had it up there somewhere. Uh, where is it? Do I have one there? No, nope. brazier, brazier, blaze, brazier. Uh, right here into these things because they're actually not that hard to make. Just some coal, some charcoal, ready dust. It's basically two crystals and two gold. And uh, yeah, just let it just kind of do its thing. Then I can kind of automatically output all of our items from any of our systems being automated um, straight to one of these ready chests, which I thought was also totally awesome. That's that's way cooler than I thought it was going to be originally using it for. And I also found that you can kind of, it's weird too, like it can't just monitor. I mean, I, it's not that it can't monitor. It doesn't just monitor regular inventories. So it'll even monitor the inventory of something like this. So I don't know how useful this is, but it could be with some machines. Like being able to monitor the output is also a added bonus, right? So it's going to be able to see the two lead in here. I've actually already tested this, but uh, do I have lead in the system? I guess I could check this way. Let's go here. Let's go to lead. Let's do that, right? Awesome. And where's the rest of my lead? Just so I can get out of here. There we go. It's right there. Sweet. Now, if I look for lead, let's do oh, right here. Grab lead. Do that. And now it's just pointing towards there. Oh, I actually still have lead in here? I thought I pulled it all out. Why was they have lead in here? Yeah, there's no lead in here. Why are you lying to me? But anyway, it sees the lead in this machine. And that's kind of the point. So it sees it even in the furnaces and stuff. So it just seems like it could have a ton of uses that I haven't really thought about and uh, could be pretty neat. Also went ahead and made this tool here. And it seems like with these uh, scepter manipulation, so this is uh, one of the main tools from the mod. This one here didn't seem very useful. It was just giving me information about like nothing that I needed information about. But this one here, when I right click on it, it lets me set the range that these uh, braziers can actually interact with things, right? So, uh, yeah, where is it? Display a visualizer for the range of the braziers, the braziers operating in. So if I only wanted, say, seven blocks because I didn't want it to interfere with another one, you can do that, show the area, and just kind of limit the area. So you could set up little micro networks of this too, with this to a chest to some other automation, right? So it's almost like a short range ender chest too, when you think about it, which I thought was also pretty cool. So I'm just thinking of ways to use this mod in different ways, because it does seem really cool and kind of powerful. I'm just gonna leave it 300 for now, because I were just using the one, but you could kind of set up little small networks of this too, is basically what I'm saying. From this to a radiant chest, just within the set range, to carry out an automation, right? From ticket to, from one step to another without having to use cabling, which is uh, pretty neat and pretty awesome all around. This thing just seems like it has a lot of uses and I'm very interested in this mod. <laughs> it, it, it looks very magical, but it's not really. Like this could easily be a tech mod. It wouldn't look magical at all. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just the way it was uh, designed to look that makes it kind of seem like a magic mod. It really comes off more like a, a wireless kind of tech mod, which is, uh, not what I was expecting at all. But anyway, let's go here. I want to make some more of those things. What are they? Nugget sticks. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nugget sticks. Let's do you. And get just toss you in there. Maybe some you in there. Then I need to make the actual crystals, right? So go ahead, grab. Oh, I've, the one thing with the mod, I feel like I should be able to, this is like a selector to choose your items. I should be able to pull the items from here too. That'd be a nice bonus with this mod. But anyway, let's do that. And probably make some more of these monitoring crystals. Oops, not there. Can I do that? Yeah, I can. Grab buy more. Because I can see me using a lot of these things. But, uh, this way I'll be able to see all of our inventory, which is awesome. And I may make one more of those uh, braziers of hoarding over here as well. Just so I can pump anything I want in the system there as well. Oh, one more thing I didn't show you about these things. I keep finding new cool things. Um, <laughs> right here. Do that, that, that. 
These things can actually hold four stacks in a single slot. So these things are actually quite a large amount of storage too, so they're only a double chest, which is less than a double crate obviously, but they can hold four items per stack, so in if they're holding just one item, they can hold way more, which is pretty cool, pretty awesome. And one thing more I want to test, the, uh, test here. I didn't test the dwarves yet. Let's kind of put that there. Can do apples. 353. Yeah, I can see all the apples too. So it can actually even interact with basic dwarves and stuff. Like, this thing is really cool. And I'm really curious now if I can hook one of these up to a controller. Because I can hook it up to a drawer controller. I can even do more stuff, man. So moving forward, I'll be using this mod and kind of exploring it a lot. I think it is uh, pretty awesome, pretty cool and pretty neat thus far and uh we got a word doubling too which is also a bonus but i'm actually more excited about the arcane archives right now but uh anyway i think i am actually going to wrap this one up here i'm just gonna let everyone know that i do have a discord if you want to stop by say hello any of that jazz feel free everyone is welcome just uh keep it classy it's all that i ask also i do have a patreon so if you want to think about maybe support me move forward making videos that'd be wonderful and great i mean we got an awesome little community We've got uh, three servers up for our patrons. We got Vanilla, Agent Engineering, and I think Astrobox up, but not a lot of people are playing it still. But anyway, it's up there. It's a thing. And uh, yeah, definitely check that out. But I am going to end this one here. So as always, guys, like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. We guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.